Lovers of train rides may be in for a treat soon as the Lagos Rail Modernization Project may be delivered as scheduled. The Chairman Senate Committee on Land Transportation, Abdul Fattah Buhari, says the group is in town to assess the progress of the free train rides from Lagos to Ibadan. Lillian Isamark reports. This is the mega station of the standard gauge railway line, Lagos. They make their way into a train coach for a ride from Lagos to Abeokuta. Joint Committee on Land Transportation is on a visit to Nigerian Railway Corporation to assess the level of work done on the Lagos Railway Modernization Project, inadequate funding and compensation of those whose property are affected by the project as some of the challenges. Lagos has its peculiar restrictions. Lagos is a built-up area. You have water pipes, you have gas pipe, and you have oil pipes, and a lot of structure that have infringed on our right of way. So first of all, we have to make them, clear them, to enable them work. Joint Committee on Land Transport pledged financial support to the rail project. This project is going to be completed even before the completion target period. And that in itself is something very commendable. We are looking forward to coming in April to officially commission this particular project. The Minister of Transport, including the National Railway Corporation, decided that people should be taken free from Lagos to Ibadan. It's important for us to come and see how prepared they are. And then this is the same train they are going to use. We are also going to ride on it. The oversight is part of the continuation of the trial run preparatory to the formal launch next year. We are expecting a set of DMUs made up of uh, eight coaches uh, and we will still run free, probably to match before we go commercial. Benefits of the test run is to consolidate the tracks, determine the flow of passengers to draw up comprehensive timetable and frequency of the train. When commercial operations begin next year, it is expected to be a source of job creation, check rural urban migration, reduce the rate of road accidents, increase the lifespan of the roads, and boost the economy of the towns along the rail corridor. Lelian Ezema, TVC News, Lagos.